guess what? I got a fever. And the only prescription is more functor. Welcome to a programming languages virtual meetup post recording. My name is Connor Hookstra, and in this video, we're going to be doing a very, very brief summary of chapter 11 from Category Theory for Programmers by Bartosz Maluski. This chapter is entitled Declarative Programming. There is no table of contents for this chapter because it is so short. I believe it's only eight pages, and this is the only thing we're going to highlight from it, which is the first paragraph. The text reads, in the first part of the book, I argued that both category theory and programming are about composability. In programming, you keep decomposing a problem until you reach the level of detail that you can deal with, solve each subproblem in turn, and recompose the solutions bottom up. There are roughly speaking two ways of doing it, by telling the computer what to do or by telling it how to do it. One is called declarative and the other imperative. And the thing that I want to do for this video is link you to three of my uh, favorite talks. Uh, one of them is by Ben Dean, one of them is by Phil Nash, one of them is by Kevlin Henney. And then there's a fourth talk, which I'm adding to the list, which I gave in 2020. So Ben Dean gave a talk at C++ Now 2018 called Easy to Use, Hard to Misuse, This One Best Talk of the Conference. Um, and the subtitle is Declarative Style in C++, more relevant for C++ developers, but I still think you can learn something if you aren't a C++ developer. Kevlin Henney has a talk that he gave in 2016 called Declarative Thinking, Declarative Practice. Kevlin, along with Ben Dean, are two of my favorite speakers. I can't recommend this talk highly enough. And then last but not least, we have a talk from Phil Nash called Functional C++ for Fun and Profit, which I believe Phil has given a double digit number of times. I will provide links to that talk and the two by Ben Dean and Kevlin Henney. And if you have the appetite for more than three talks, uh, I can link to a talk that I gave in 2020 called My Least Favorite Anti-Pattern, where I introduce the ITM acronym, which stands for Initialize Then Modify, which I first talked about in a PyCon talk in 2020, but then decided to give a full talk on it at the Italian C++ conference. So if you don't have time for all four talks, I would probably recommend Kevlin's talk because it's language agnostic. Um, but if you do have time, I just watch all four. And yeah, hopefully you find one of these or all of them uh, educational. I think they're uh, fantastic talks. And that's it for today's video. So there is a single lecture that corresponds to this very short chapter 11. And in next week's video, we're going to be covering limits and co-limits. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next video.